Hi. Competitive research is an integral part of creating a business plan for any startup. And um, in this video, I'd like to talk about six tips that you should use to make your analysis most useful to create the most compelling value proposition and to determine the correct pricing structure for your company. You definitely want to consider how your competitors price their products or services so that you can figure out where you fit in on a competitive landscape or what your market positioning is and so that you can create the correct pricing structure for you, right? The um, go-to-market strategy is one of the most difficult things to figure out for a startup with no brand awareness, no users, no product on the market, right? And so looking at how others have done it and where they have succeeded and where they have failed can give you clues in terms of how you should do it and which strategies you should adapt to your situation. Now here you can also look to other industries because sometimes some companies it's something innovative that um, you may adopt even if they did it in the industry that is not yours. So some companies of course have bigger pockets than others and because they have bigger pockets they can do other things, right, then those companies don't have access to as much capital. So when you analyze their pricing, when you analyze their marketing strategies, you have to also consider how much capital they have to execute all of this. Some companies may afford to price their products lower initially because they have a lot of capital or to put a lot of money into marketing and advertising. Whereas other companies may have to employ more creative methods of driving sales, such as word of mouth or creating viral videos to generate word of mouth, etc. You want to understand which customers your competitors serve so that you can figure out whether you're serving the same customer base or not. Right? So maybe that's a way for you to differentiate yourself as well because you're going to serve an underserved customer base. Right? Now also understanding which customer segments your competitors have and versus which customer segments you have will affect which go-to-market strategies you should employ because for different customer segments, different go-to-market strategies may work better. Okay? You want to look at the features and benefits of which solution to compare uh, their features and benefits with your features and benefits and to really carve out how you're different and better than others. Now, those are important to give you a glimpse into what others are thinking, right? What their strategy is how are they going to expand and grow their business and net understanding and insight can help you better compete and position yourself for what's coming. If you like this video, please comment below and like it and share with your friends and colleagues. And for more information on how to set prices or marketing budgets for your business, check out our class number two, financial modeling of software and service startups. Thank you for watching and see you next week.